Hi, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to present our group's work. Uh, firstly, I would like to thank the conference organizers, especially the team, Dr. Shi Jue, Dr. Gu Zhizhan, and Helena. You all did the great contribution uh, for this successfully uh, the conference happen. Um, my presentation title is the Neuroprotective Drug Discovery Based on Traditional Chinese Medicine Clinical Practice. Actually, I am a Chinese medicine doctor with over 30 years clinical practice. So firstly, I would give the very brief introduction about the traditional Chinese medicine. Traditional Chinese medicine has a long celebrated history. And it is the most ancient the medicine system and still yet alive has been proven to be benefit and effective to Chinese people. Chinese medicine is built on a foundation of more than 2,500 years. The clinical practice that including herb Chinese medicine, acupuncture, uh, tuina, massage, qigong, and also dietary therapy. So now Chinese medicine is widely used in mainland China and East Asian countries. And also it increasingly available in Europe and in North America. So Chinese medicine Consider about the holistic, dynamic system, network, and the personalities treatment. A recent year, uh, traditional Chinese medicine getting the worldwide recognition. 2015, Professor Yu Yu Tu was awarded the Nobel Prize in Medicine for her discovery of anti-malaria medicine um, from traditional Chinese medicine herb, Qing Hao. Actually, like the Dean mentioned this morning, uh, Professor Yu Yu Tu, inspired by the ancient Chinese book, Zhou uh, Hou Fang in Qing, uh, Jin Dynasty. And she got the idea, extra uh, the admissiony, the major active compound from the Qing Hao uh, under the lower temperature before she did the 700 times experiment, but all failed. And then she looked at the ancient book and uh, finally found the very, very effective the isolate method. And uh, in 2014, our school set up the Center for Parkinson's Disease Research. The goal of our center is to do clinical study, basic research, and uh, the new drug discovery from Chinese medicine for treatment of neurodegenerative disease, including PD and AD. So today I'm going to tell you some of the work about our group on the new drug discovery for treatment of PD and AD. The PD means uh, Parkinson's disease. It is the second most neurodegenerative disorder in the world, of which 50% the Parkinson's disease patient in China. And uh, currently there have the seven to 10 million Parkinson's disease patients living in the world. And this number will increase more than 10 million. And uh, in 2013, the Chinese Parkinson's disease patient number will increase to 57%. And the total annual cost 
a six billion RMB in China and 25 billion in United States. And Parkinson's disease is uh, progressive the neural disorders and mainly affect uh, movement function. The major features of Parkinson's disease are dopamine neuron loss and uh, liver body formation. Alpha nuclear aggregation is the major component of liver body. In 2016, the Japanese scientist, uh, Professor uh, Osumi, was awarded uh, by Nobel Prize for his discovery and the work on autophagy. So what is autophagy? Literally, autophagy means self-eating. It means autophagy is a process by cleaning up and recycling the garbage and the toxic material by forming a double membrane structure and then fuse with the lysosome for degradation. So autophagy is a process we call this whole process is autophagy lysosome pathway. Our group collaborate with the Professor Osumi's group. We are working on autophagy modulate from Chinese medicine for treating neurodegenerative disease. This picture we just took with Professor Osumi in last month in an autophagy conference in Japan. Autophagy lysosome pathway plays a central role in maintaining health cells. And a lot of scientists already recently indicated that uh, the autophagy lysosome pathway link dysfunction autophagy uh, lysosome pathway linked to many human diseases, including neurodegenerative disorder, such as Parkinson's disease and Alzheimer's disease. Abnormal aggregation of alpha nuclei can lead in Parkinson's disease. By enhanced autophagy, can promote clean up abnormal aggregated alpha nuclei, and for there prevent neurodegeneration. Therefore, to find out the nature autophagy inducer can prevent the for their neurodegeneration for neurodegenerative disease. So how Chinese medicine think about Parkinson's disease? Actually, in Chinese medicine, we don't have the Parkinson's disease name because this Parkinson's disease is named by a British Western medicine doctor in 18 centuries, but in Chinese medicine ancient books, we already have a record of the similar disease symptoms described in the many Chinese books. The pathological of Parkinson's disease based on Chinese medicine theory, we call deficiency of origin. In Chinese, we call ben xu and Excesses of superciliality, we call biao shi in Chinese. Under this uh, deficiency of origin and excess of superficiality, there have several the pattern uh, classification, like our Dean Professor Li tell, the syndrome uh, classification. They have the deficiency of the spleen qi. They have the insufficient of qi and the blood. They also have a deficiency of efficiency and uh, in narrow, and the deficiency of liver yin and the kidney yin and the efficiency of yang. This under the pattern classification and the deficiency of origin. As well as they have the three types of 
and the excess of superficiality. For example, stagnation of qi and blood stasis, stagnation of phlegm, and the liver vein stirs up internally. The one Chinese medicine actor, his name called Zhang Lu, who is living in Qing Dynasty, he wrote the book, Zhang Shi Yi Tong, in 18th century. In this book, his special composed a Chinese medicine formula to treat this pattern classification of PD. Actually, in Chinese, we call shaking because uh, most of Parkinson's disease patients, they have the uh, symptoms as uh, shaking. And this formula is Jia Wei Liu Jun Zi Tang. Because I'm the Chinese medicine doctor and uh, every week I have to go to give the clinic consultation, the most of my patients, they are suffering from Parkinson's disease. I'm quite uh, very often use the Jia Wei Liu Jun Zi Tang this formula to treat the Parkinson's disease patient. So based on the ancient Chinese medicine book record and the, my clinical experience and other doctors' clinical experience, our group conducted two clinical uh, trials. One is the priority clinical study with uh, 12 weeks. Another one is the 30 week uh, randomized controller of Chinese herbal medicine, Jia Wei Liu Jun Zi Tang, on normal symptoms in Parkinson's disease. This clinical trial mainly contributed by my PhD student, Dr. Choi. So we found the Jia Wei Liu Jun Zi Tang. In the pilot study, we found the Jia Wei Liu Jun Zi Tang can relieve some non mortal symptoms and also can improve the communication skill with the Parkinson's disease patient. In the long time that the mission of Java Liu Jun Zitang, we found out this uh, Chinese medicine formula is very safe and uh, show the significant benefit in improving non-motor symptoms including mood, congenation, and constipation in Parkinson's disease patient. So actually, Chinese medicine formula, based on my clinical experience, not good like the Western medicine can stop the motor symptoms, but the Chinese medicine is most helpful and benefit for patient to improve and reduce the non-motor symptoms of a Parkinson's disease patient. Another PhD student, Dr. Liang Feng Liu, he did a research with another Chinese medicine formula we call Tian Ma Gou Tang Yin. It is also a traditional ancient formula for treating Parkinson's disease patient. Dr. Liu found the Tianma Goutang Yin can modulate the rotenin induced dopamine neuron loss in the rat. And uh, these two Chinese medicine formula contain the key herb. Of course, they contain the several herb, but the key herb is Goutang. They have the six active compounds were identified in Goutang. The six, six uh, active compounds, they have the similar chemical structure with different special uh, configuration. The one of these uh, six active compounds we call the Corinoxian B has a very uh, effective on induce autophagy and help clean up, promote the degradation of alpha nuclear in neuron cells. 
by Indies Atavaji. This work was done by my PhD student, Dr. Jia Hong Lu. Now he is the assistant professor in Macau University. For there, Dr. Ju Xian Song and Ms. Deng Yu did for their work on the uh, molecular target of Cori B. Actually, Dr. Song today is in here with us. Dr. Song found the alpha nuclear can bind to the HMGB1 and there inhibit HMGB1 translocation into the cytosol. And then, which may lead to the decrease in HMGB1 and the backlink 1 interaction and the increased BCL2 backlink 1 interaction and then inhibit autophagy. And Cori B can bind to HMGB1 and then disrupt the alpha nuclear and the GP1 interaction for there to rescue the autophagy. After rescue the implied autophagy, our neuron cell can promote to clean up clearance of alpha nuclear uh, aggregation. We also collaborated with these other um, uh, uh, scholars. We found the Cori B and HGV1, the binding by SPRSA, and also Cori B HGV1 binding by molecular docking because HGV1 is not crystal yet. So, and uh, after we finish the uh, Cori B's work, we collaborated with my colleague, Dr. Hong Jie Zhang. He also today staying here with us. We did the structure modification of Cori B to improve Cori B's uh, uh, bioavailability. In here, you can see we have the two modified um, Cori B chemical. CB6 and the CBA, they both can induce autophagy in the cellular fat body and they both can promote alpha nuclear clearance in the cellular model. And also, they induce autophagy in neuron cell. Here I show you the CB6 and the CB8 has a much better PK profit and the uh, bioavailability than Cori B. This funding result in we apply the one uh, US patent. In recent years, Professor Andrew Blabio from Italy, he found the transcription factor EB, TFEB, act as the master regulate of autophagy and lysosome biogenesis. This is quite important for human disease, especially for the new drug discovery of treatment for neurodegeneration. So our group collaborated with the Professor Andrew Blabio. We do the work to fund the novel T5 regulate activity from Chinese medicine to promote the alpha nuclear uh, clearance and uh, tau aggregation clearance. Under the normal condition, T5 interacts with mTOR on left zone. T5 is phosphorylated and then bind to 1433 protein. When mTOR is inhibited, TFAB is related and for there promote the TFAB nuclear translocation. This TFAB nuclear translocation can promote 
to clearing the toxic protein aggregation and to act the neural protection effect. Curcumin is the major active compound from Chinese herb Jianghuang. Curcumin is the very commonly used in Chinese medicine clinical treatment and uh, functional food. We know curcumin have the antioxidant, anti-cancer, anti-inflammation, and uh, neuroprotection effect. A lot of uh, research already indicated. But based, due to his uh, poor absorption and the low bioavailability, it is uh, limited curcumin's clinical application. So our group, we collaborate with uh, chemistry, Professor Zhou Bo in Lanzhou University in mainland China. He did the several, uh, actually the series of curcumin analog and provided to us. The C1 is one of the curcumin analog and we found C1 potentially promote the TFAB nuclear translocation. And uh, C1 can promote autophagy flux and the lysosome biogenesis. And the C1 does not inhibit mTOR pathway because mTOR has a very important function for cell maintenance. So our C1 active T5, but not without uh, inhibit mTOR. We also found that C1 probably is bind to T5, but curcumin doesn't bind to T5. This work, we also uh, collaborated with uh, Dr. Guo Zhihong in Hong Kong USD. We, for there, we did the animal study. We found C1 can promote the degradation of our nuclear in vitro and in vivo. In vitro, we found the C1 promoted the alpha nuclear clearance in the white type and the mutant the alpha nuclear cell line. And in vitro, we found the long-term oral ex uh, admission of C1 can promote the degradation of alpha nuclear in red brain. And the C1 active TFAB and promote autophagy lysosome biogenesis in red brain. Meantime, we found the C1 can promote the degradation of pathological tau in transgenic AD mice. The C1 improves the motor function in uh, transgenic tau mice, and the C1 promotes clearance of the phosphorylated the tau and uh, metabolism and the tau's metabolism in the uh, uh, transgenic tau mice. So this work get international recognition and we received the uh, best possible award in the conference two years ago. And we also win the two uh, uh, US patent. Now the one company licensed our patent and the one developed the the new drug for treating neurodegeneration. Um, I'm also uh, going to tell you some uh, work on our um, group on the treatment of uh, Alzheimer's disease. As you all know, the Alzheimer's disease is a chronic uh, progressive the neurodegenerative disorder. It is the number one 
the neurodegeneration dis disease in the world. And the seven, 60 to 80 percent of dementia patients, they are uh, Alzheimer's disease. And it caused the loss of cognitive con uh, function, uh, behavior disturbance, and the daily life difficulty. It is a huge burden to the family and the, to the society. The Alzheimer's disease have the major, two major pathological uh, uh, proteins. One we call the A-beta aggregation, another one is the tau phosphorylation. And the, the multi-factor can case these uh, uh, two pathological protein aggregation and for there um, have the um, pathological neurotoxicity. And Chinese medicine, how Chinese men think about the AD? Like the PD, Chinese medicine think the AD also have the two uh, the pathological the type. One is the deficiency of origin, another is the excess of superfidity. But the pattern classification actually is different with the PD. The one pattern classification we call the aggregation of heat and uh, uh, toxin. Chinese medicine formula, Huang Lian Jie Dutang, was recorded in the very ancient Chinese book, Shang Han Lun. And uh, it is effect to this pattern classification. Dr. Kuma in our group, he did the study of this the Chinese medicine formula, Huang Lian Jie Dutang. They composed the four Chinese medicine herb, Huang Lian, Huang Qing, Huang Ba, and the Zhizi. That each single herb have the major active compound, and the, the one major compound, the berberin. In the Huanglian, we found the Huanglian berberin can induce the uh, abate plaque in the transgenic AD mice, and berberin can active the APP processing, APP, and the phosphor tau phosphorylation. And also improved in the uh, more reward maze. But surprisingly, we found the Huang Lian Jie Du Tang actually induced the APP, full line APP and the APP uh, metabolism. And uh, after we investigated, we found that the Mindei is the single, single harbor, the Huangqin, and the main active compound is the Baclin. So after we remove the Huangqin from this original Chinese formula, actually modify Huanglian Jie Du Tang, exerts a very good neuroprotective to clearance APP, A beta. Here I show you the modified Huanglian Jie Tang have much better effect on the reduce the A beta clock compared to Huanglian Jie Tang in uh, three XTGAD mice. Also improve the uh, deficiency of special learning and the memory in the three XTG mice. So um, I'm briefly introducing our group, the work. So our long term. The impact is uh, uh, by using clinical Chinese practice, the treasure and the clinical experience to develop the drug modified uh, for neurodegeneration. So our group collaborated with uh, multidisciplinary and the complementary the experts uh, in Chinese medicine, pharmacological, cell biology, structure biology, and uh, bioinformatics, and uh, modify uh, chemical medical chemistry, and we have the international uh, collaborate. So finally, I would thank my group people. They work very hard to do Chinese medicine research, they support and help each other. Okay, thank you very much.